Hello everyone. So before I start this video, if y'all don't want to hear me talk, just fast forward to this time. But I want to give you some updates about this channel, updates about me, updates about what happened, why I stopped posting on YouTube. Um, <laughs> there's a lot, but I'm going to try to just summarize. I kind of told myself when I quit my job being a full-time nurse, if after a year I'm not seeing like the success that, you know, I envisioned or pictured, then I would reevaluate. So September to December 2023 was very hard for me. Um, I I kind of was debating if I wanted to continue doing like sharing my journey on, on, on YouTube, on Instagram. Like I was still going to grow plants, but I just wasn't going to film it. I wasn't going to share pictures. I wasn't going to do any of that stuff. So it was kind of like reevaluating that. Plus like what, what would I do then? Um, and honestly, like y'all know my or what I've said about like nursing and how it's not like <laughs> It's not a route that I'm totally like happy with, but it was kind of the only thing that I could really think about. So for me, it was very hard sitting down, <laughs> making like updates to my resume, making updates to my cover letter. And like, it was just hard because to me, like I was telling myself I'm a failure, I'm a failure, I'm a failure. Like all the things that you envisioned a year ago, like you didn't achieve that, you'd even come close to like your goals that you set for yourself that you didn't, you know, share on here. Like I have goals that I kind of keep to myself and yeah. So, so fall winter was a bit hard. Obviously like I tried to do vlogmas. I did like, I did, I think half, like I think I did 15 days worth of videos in December and I, I had to stop. And honestly, that was kind of like the breaking point. Like I just needed to sit down, be alone in my thoughts and just like reassess and not worry about working at the hospital, not worry about like, you know, my YouTube channel, not worry about any of that. And I mean, everyone's different. Like for me, I know for a fact that I need to just solve things on my own. I can't talk to anyone else. I just need to be by myself. I need to like not have anything around me that will interfere or affect like my judgment or whatever. I just need to just clear my mind and just like think about the root of like the problems that I had and just and ultimately just make a decision. And because I had like a clear mind in a December, beginning of January, I decided that I was gonna go back um, nursing part-time. So I, you know, I, you, the timing was a big part. So I'll be basically working as a permanent part-time nurse at the same place that I was working at. At this job, there's only like room for one part-time. And again, timing is everything. Um, one of the part-time nurses left that position, so it, you know, the position kind of opened up in the beginning of January and I just decided that I think it's time to go back to nursing part-time and and I felt okay about it. So yeah, I'm working there part-time, that's three days a week. And yeah, I've been doing that so far and I feel good and yeah, so there's no direction. I'm just noticing, I'm just like talking and rambling. I just like, I've been dreading filming this intro because I'm just like very, I don't even know. I don't know how to articulate a lot of ha a lot has happened and, and anyhow so y'all are probably wondering what does this mean for my youtube channel um i'm still gonna keep it active um trust and believe y'all i came close like i think i posted a video <laughs> like december 27th i put it private but it was like ugh, i forgot i was like i'm done with this channel like i was like so ready to like quit this whole thing um but after you know sitting on my thoughts and like being more calm about like all these things and thoughts and whatever um I decided that I am still going to be posting on YouTube it's not going to be on a scheduled basis just because it's not my full-time thing anymore um it's it's honestly going to depend on how I feel like if I if if I'm in the mood to like pick up a camera and film what I'm doing and trust and believe everyone I still love filming this plant journey like I just love sharing you know what's going on in my collection and the excitement that uh, you know I have towards like certain plants and growth and like new plants that I'm getting and whatever but yeah I felt like in the year that I was doing this full-time it was very hard it was very hard it was very um hard for me to make this like business related and you know look at things that are trendy and like what should I do and like looking at the trends in the plant community and like really like the trends and the behaviors of social media whether that's Instagram or YouTube like really ruined like my like the amount of happiness I felt towards this like I didn't want to do 
like the things that were trendy it was like I just felt like I didn't want to adapt to that because like when I was reassessing everything I was like okay what do people want to see people want to see like monsteras people want to see philodendrons and like y'all know that like that is not like my favorite genus of plants like I love hoyas I love anthuriums like those are my top two right now they're still my top two and I know like I have a huge 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 Hoya following here and but basically when your livelihood like on social media relies on viewership and you see that viewership dips um, then you kind of like you, you play like mind games so I'm kind of at the point where I don't want to like fall for what is trendy and I I'm sorry I'm not compromising what I love for a trend that people may or may not like and you know something going far like I'm not I'm not that person I'm just here to share my journey and I'm just gonna show whatever I want like I'm just gonna do that because that's what makes me happy <laughs> like I hate I hate just relying on like perfect leaves I hate oh it makes me so angry like that's not realistic and like it's 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 almost too much of what the plant community is like obsessed with like they need to see a perfect leaf they need to see a large leaf like it's not real and it's just so frustrating that that's how it is that's how it is right now and like I'm sorry I'm gonna still show the imperfections when it comes to my plants because that's real life oh, I like totally just lost all focus the focus is gone I don't even know why I started talking about that stuff so yeah basically this video is like it's old clips from December like I think there's a couple that are from like they were supposed to be like plant her videos during vlogmas um then even when I was on my break I just filmed a few things just in case like I didn't know it's gonna be a nurse again like I didn't know it was gonna go back to nursing so I just needed like footage that I can like put out in January and anyhow it's a long video you can watch it you don't need to watch it it's fine I really didn't want to put this out but I knew like it's a lot of footage that I just didn't want to like delete um, so that's what this video is um, there's a lot of new updates like growth wise that I want to share um, I asked on Instagram like what plant updates do you want to see and I'm still gonna do a video about this I don't know if that's gonna be the next one after this one or if it's gonna be the um, I bought a bunch of new plants or got new new plants through like plant trades also and so I don't know if it's gonna be like new plants or if it's gonna be like plant updates. Like it's gonna be one or the other. So all I can say is if you wanna stick around with my journey, um, even though it's not like weekly, please turn the bell notification on because I, I'm not doing this on a schedule anymore. I don't have to. And you know what? It feels good. Like I actually feel so good. I don't want this to be like a sad video. Like I'm actually at a very good place. I haven't felt like this in such a long time. Um, I just feel like genuinely really happy I feel calm like and and honestly I think this is like best for me and like that that was really what I needed to kind of just tell myself this change is gonna be best for me not doing this full-time and and just do it when I want to um, so updates to patreon I'm probably not gonna continue with my patreon um, it's currently been on pause since December um, I don't think like I have no plans on resuming that unless something changes Ugh, what else guys <laughs> so in summary I'm not stopping completely I'm still gonna be posting videos on YouTube but it's not gonna be on a weekly basis it's not gonna be on a schedule it's gonna be when I want to whenever I want to um, so please turn the bell notification on if you want to follow my journey and know when the updates will come out or you could follow me on Instagram I usually like tell people when a video is coming out on my Instagram stories so you can do that as well and thank you to everyone who has followed me in my journey um, in the past year and I, I really value you know the interactions that I had in the past year and I'm very grateful and thankful for the following that I have and the kindness that I've received during this time and it really means a lot like it really really does thank you to everyone who was checking up on me um, during this gap I don't even think I've ever taken a gap longer than two weeks um, since I started this channel like so, since like 2019 that's wild but it was needed and if you have any questions about this like leave in the comment section below maybe send me a DM on Instagram I don't know but yeah I guess here are the clips from December 
Oh hey y'all, welcome back to another chaotic plant tour video. So this is gonna be like a quick, like I'm gonna try to move as quick as possible to do all these plant chores. Really behind, um, I'm gonna start off with the moss pole stuff. So the Melnochrysum and also the Weraquianum. Just gonna water through the moss poles, um, bring them out here because I know I have to do a slow trickle because I think the moss poles are a little bit dry. So let me just grab the Melnochrysum first. Okay, so she's here. There is a new leaf coming. I'm a little bit concerned. And I think this plant is only relying on the roots that are in the moss pole. Beauty, look at her, guys. Why do I think this? So every time the moss pole is dry, I love this plant, oh my God. You can feel it in the petioles. You can feel it in like the leaves and how hydrated they are. I've watered the aerid mix and every time I do water it, I don't see a difference. Like it doesn't feel hydrated like the day after, for example. But when I hydrate the moss pole, the plant feels hydrated. Anyhow, I put press and seal around. I can see new roots and I just want to preserve them. Sometimes when I do this with philodendrons, like it de obviously depends on like where the actual new leaf is at that point. But sometimes when I do it like this and like wet it, sometimes there's rot because it's too wet. And so it's kind of just like a game. Like you have to just like make sure <laughs> you're not constricting it too much. I have towels everywhere because like watering these moss poles, it's so messy. And I think in 2024, I'm probably gonna take a few plants off moss poles just to reassess what I want to do because like I have concluded that there are some plants that I absolutely love on a moss pole and there's some that like I'm just like what's the point and that's like my opinion a year later of, of growing plants on moss poles and it's not how I am as a plant parent when it comes to like what I like I don't know watering moss poles and keeping them moist is just so frustrating okay the queen has come in the queen has come in I think I talked about Oh jeez, do you see that new leaf come in? It's coming. And because I need to do this little trickle, I just gotta open the stopper over the sink because I don't want water sitting too high once I water it. I don't know if that makes sense. I kind of don't like that I just open the stopper and there's already water dripping. The water will start dripping um, out of that hole once it's above this point in the pots. Okay, so at least it's not dry. The moss pole is dry though. Like for example, I'll keep the queen on a moss pole for obvious reasons. I kind of think because it's latched on to the moss pole already and the roots have like really established themselves in it. I think that's another reason why the growth is big. I, I like, oh my gosh. I'm like every year I give air raid mixes a chance and it's not necessarily like the aeroid mix, it's me as a plant parent. And like, that's the most important thing. Just know, just know how you are as a plant parent. And you know me, I like to try things not only a second time, a third time, fourth time, fifth time. So this is like my third or fourth time trying aeroid mixes. I'm just so annoyed. Okay, I'm just grabbing my Lux Beauty. Um, I haven't looked at her in like two weeks. Okay, reservoir's there, reservoir's there. But that was, a, I guess, the update. <laughs> no changes. Okay, let's talk about the uh, Monstera Edinsonii variegated. I'm like so happy that I separated this one. I did miss a watering, so like crunch, but like I'm so happy because like it seems like the balance to variegation is like still continuing. Um, and I didn't realize there's a new leaf. The Edinsonii is so fast, y'all. It is so fast. So I'm like gonna see, I'm gonna take the cling wrap. Actually, I don't need to. I'm gonna show you the big one. I don't know if y'all remember, but I put the big one in the platter. I regret doing that. I'm just like, <laughs> again, I was trying to like fall in love with it and no, not a thing. I'll probably just water propagate the rest. Cause the moss pole is not dry dry. So I'm just gonna slowly just water over top and hopefully that root latches on. Here's this cutie. The only one I love. Okay, I'm gonna chop up the other one. I'm like so shocked how much like I d dislike this plant now. Um, it's just, okay. <laughs> First, let me show you. <laughs> Look at the neglect. Okay, also, <laughs> there was a day I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna put like moss. And then like, I literally put it in and then I didn't have like something to push it through to the bottom. So I just left this chunk of moss. <laughs> That was so long ago, anyhow. Yeah, I don't like this plant. Like I know I said I love the other one because the variations balance, but like just kind of looking at a propagation standpoint since I love propagating plants, it is so hard to get a good specimen. Like it is incredibly hard and probably not as hard as like, for example, the variegated Billigetti. I've heard that one's like notoriously like difficult to propagate and get good variegation. 
but like you get so many like pure white leaves like this boom and then you have when they're white like this sometimes they like don't unfurl properly like do you see this it is just like not great i just gotta keep propagating it until like i get a specimen that's like all like okay okay are we good also remember when i propagated i think i propagated like one or two vines of this i put them in water i've ignored them oh my god that was funny um that was so funny okay i want to grab the the water ones first Ooh. okay oh damn i put the strawberry in here i forgot oh and the synapses y'all i'm forgetting everything okay neglects the house down boots mama um strawberry looks gorgina let's take a look I'm only bringing this out because I'm gonna have to chop all these down. I'm probably gonna put them in the same um, cup. Maybe a bigger cup, because there's gonna be so many. You weren't even, okay. This and that, this wasn't even touching the water. This wasn't even touching. Oh man, okay. So, okay, the second one is rooted, which is great. This is the second leaf. I honestly don't know if this is gonna survive. I can try. Um, the thing is the stem, do you see how easy it is for me to bend the stem? It is so dehydrated, so, whoops. Ooh, look at that, this leaf. Um, it looks like heavy on variegation, but we will see. Good to see roots there. This one, fully green. This one was submerged in the water, which is good. And it looks like the leaf might be half and half, which isn't my favorite thing to see. Wow, there's actually a lot of cuttings in here. This one, big root. And this, you know, kind of does look like it's gonna be. Balance, let's look at this one. Okay, cute. This one didn't have roots, I don't think. But these two new branches, look at that. There's their growth point. Last one, big root right over here. A couple actually. It kind of looks like, you know, we have stripes there. This cute leaf, okay. I don't even, I don't even remember the last time I changed the water. Ooh. Oh, the strawberry. Strawberry looks cute. There's like small, tiny, tiny roots. And the growth point is waking up. So that's wonderful. I think I'm gonna have to just settle with Cruella. And what I mean by that is, uh, Put them in this gorilla. What what are they called? Zoom zooms. Oh my god! Fun fact, y'all. This is like so long ago. Okay, let me oh, let me grab the rest. Okay, so I have a Cruella mug, an Ursula <laughs> mug, and a Maleficent mug. So before I got into plants, probably like two years before I got into plants. I had a palm that I got from Ikea. I'm pretty sure it was a parlor palm. I kept it alive, but it wasn't happy for like, I'm pretty sure like nine years. I kept that plant alive. I named her Ursula. Um, <laughs> she did actually come here when we moved in here, but then I just got rid of her because like, I need more room for all these beauties, which sounds awful. Um, and then there was a, um, I got like, a, is it a calla lily? Um, I named it Maleficent. And then, and then the third one is a mystery one. I have no idea. It might have been some some type of fern, but I named her Cruella. Anyways, the two of them died very fast because I wasn't giving them a lot of light and I was overwatering. Um, that parlor palm though, so crazy how long it lasted. I love how we still have these mugs, but. The point is, I'm going to use this just so it's like a heavier base compared to like this plastic cup, just so I can fit more cuttings in here. Okay, some water. I'm losing focus. Are there any plants you regret buying this year? Do you know what? I didn't buy the Anne Sewing Area this year, but are there any? <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's, if there's any other ones I got this year. I don't think I regret any of them. Oh, guys, it's already 11. Here's the thing. I'm a morning person. I think because I've been working at the hospital, I've just been so exhausted. So I've been like sleeping in. <sighs> and so I do not like late starts to my day. I, I just like feel so anxious. And like, I think that's what I'm feeling now. <sighs> Cause I usually like to film or start to get ready to film at like 8, 8.30. And like that happened at 10 today. I'm like, ugh. 
Oh my god, I can't with this plan. Why are you so weird? Okay, so I'm gonna cut this whole thing. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, is my... Y'all, my tripod just broke. It is actually broken. And if I see like a node where like, I, I just broke it. Okay, bye. Okay, so I know this is like, I'm like jamming them all and I'll probably just walk it over to where it's gonna live. Um, I'm, I am gonna blast it under grow light just because they're props. It looks real cute like this, I think. <laughs> um, and then we'll just see. We'll just see. Uh, I think I have to keep the Melnocrite in here for a little bit, just because I have to grab some ties. But just one sec, I forgot. It's Sunday. If y'all don't know, I'm doing a fantasy football league, also fantasy hockey, but the fantasy football league is a more, more important one since I love football. Anyhow, I'm not gonna win. Let's just say that now. I'm third, I'm probably gonna be third or fourth. Um, that's my prediction. A lot of my players are just like injured. <laughs> Anyhow, I had to check out my line. I had to check my lineup. And if y'all like football, CJ Stroud's been killing it. My right, my wide receivers are good, like Keenan Allen, Mike Evans, Eckler, Swift, Warren. Oh my God, Warren! It's just because my running backs got injured. I'm so happy I picked up Laporta. I'm trying out Sutton for the first time this week, and I have like these people on my bench. Aaron Jones, so unreliable. Ramondre Stevenson, probably gonna be out for a while. Aubrey's been good, and I just have all these defenses. Anyhow, sorry guys. I think my lineup's okay. Remember Anthony Mudinum. I like thought the flower like dropped because I couldn't see it anymore. It was just bent under a tie leaf. So do you see how like it's bent? <laughs> it's because there was a tie leaf covering it. Like I just saw that there was also a new leaf. So, I, and I just don't know, like, again, I think these inflows are so strange. There's something popping out. Do you see it? Anyhow, I'm just gonna water it. This is gonna be a really short video. Oh, my camera did that thing again. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna have to do like all these chores like off camera cause like I'm getting really frustrated at the camera. <laughs> I don't want it to show. Test, test, one, two, three. Hello everyone. I don't know if this is gonna see the light of day, but <laughs> um, I just thought I would just keep things rolling. Um, while I do some plant chores, another reason why I ended Vlogmas is because, like, I know I say this every time, but, like, I'm truly, truly, truly behind when it comes to plants, like, the care, the watering, so. I'm still kind of getting used to the place. I'm sorry if this is a lot. Hold on. Oh, my God. How... Okay, well, good thing. I'm just gonna keep it like this. Do this is this okay? I'm just gonna keep it like this. So I might not talk. I might speed this through. We'll see what happens. I am filming this December 17th, I think. So a little bit before Christmas. Uh, okay, Forgetty Eye is the biggest issue because She's pushing out a new leaf and the substrate's dry. I think I said this before, but... Oh my lord. I have to keep on top of the watering. And now I'm thinking maybe I should do a dog bowl situation. Hold on. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I think because my forget eye, because the roots are just so thirst, everything dries out so fast. I mean, that's that's a brand new root, so we're happy. Here's some over here. Um, but because it's so shallow, maybe we'll go to the sink. Just noticing I didn't load the dishwasher. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I need to put my dishes away. I didn't realize it was already full.
I think I need to go with the dog bowl because it's deeper so I could fill it more. I'm noticing that the holes at the bottom, they're not, like they're kind of high, if that makes sense. Where, okay, for the Gorgina. There's holes here, but like there's also holes up here, which are bigger. Ugh, I can't tip it. Oh my God, the pawn is dropping. But because of that, I think I have to put in a deeper. I think I like that better already. New leaf, Fuji Kanzume. So I, I'm actually a little upset because every time a new leaf is coming out, I'm always like, okay, water it, Kev. Uh, keep it moist. And hold on, let me just see if the, if there's any roots in the moss below, I don't think so. It's not even reaching yet. I might have to put some moss there. So more space to put a reservoir than, for example, this. And so I think she'll be happy. I'm excited, but also scared because I've dried out this plant so much. And so I don't know how the new leaf's gonna look, but she is so pretty, guys. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put it back. Okay, let's see if you're gonna fit. I don't know if that video has come out yet, but look at this. My Maglux. Crazy. Crazy. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I moved um, my queen and my regal in front of this vertical grow light right over here. I'm gonna blind y'all. It's over here. It's facing this way because I'm just so scared that my tie isn't gonna do well during the winter. So kind of facing the tie, the regal's over here. One of the queen leaves is over here. Um, and these are um, the Barina, Barina Grow Lights. I got it from Amazon. I'm liking it so far. I mean, it's hard because it's been like only two weeks that I've tried them out. Y'all, I'm absolutely obsessed with this Pappy Hybrid Cross with Luxuriums. Look, oh, you can't really see. It's like super dark. Here's the thing. She is growing. Like you can see an area root there. Right over, ooh, right over here. So I do want to pot in a bigger pot just to cover it. I find that like these pots, they dry out so fast because it's small, the anthurium's starting to grow. Um, so why don't we do that? Gosh, back we go into the living room. So let's just see. I'll just show you now. Beautiful roots. And this is why I want to submerge the newest aerial root, just because you can see the ones at the top here. Those were new, and I mean, ultimately, it's made the plant feel secure. Yeah, look. And you can tell how dry <laughs> the pond was because you can see just pulling it gently all the pond fell off so i just know i'm just cutting the lowest leaf because i need to submerge the rest i just know i'm going to forget about it so no stem to be seen it looks so much darker in person okay y'all this one is so dry Again, I don't know if that video's come out already, but this is my crystal mag, crossed with forget it, crossed with luxuriance. It is like ugh, bending this. You can feel how dry it is. And you can see, oh my gosh, look how dry. Look how light that is. Let's repot it. I'm gonna repot it because it's the same thing as the other one. Like it just takes up a lot of water. It, this is why, look at this. They're really just taking up a lot of the water really quickly in these roots. So. Huge root system. Okay, I did break all these roots here. So goodbye to these. And that's fine. Give it the right conditions. They'll branch above. There's some, there's some over here too. But I'll show you here, like the root system's just so big. Look at this. Are you kidding? So I'm kind of like, as I do chores 
and not like worrying about like filming. Uh, clearly I'm film filming now, but that wasn't initially a plan. Like I'm trying not to film just so I can have a little tiny break. Um, okay, I'm just putting it in. I just put a thin layer. I'm actually shocked that the roots were that robust. Like just looking at this plant, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't think, okay, maybe I'll just cut one leaf since I have to smudge it. But I'm really hoping she bounces back. I feel so bad. She's so yellow. She doesn't look that yellow on camera, but like, okay, what's her? Um, Polynura Brogat. Sorry, I smelled something. I was like, is it rot? No. Okay, I'm just looking at the water level. I think it's pretty high, so I think I'm just gonna keep it up there. Again, there are a few that potentially feel a little floppy, but oh my god. Just know that there might be small roots that aren't hydrating the plant fully. Okay, I'll grab the outer variegated. Outer variegated. Polyneura. Doing her thing. Look at all these new branches. It is insane how fast this one has been. There are a few branches that have grown and have gotten stuck because there's so many. I knew this was going to be a thing, but oh my god, this one's great. It's hard when you put so many together because this one just like bent its way oh my gosh wow whoopsies oh there's so many that are crunching oh my god you're crunching seeing all of this growth for me i feel comfortable not feeling all the way to the top anymore you can see that she's at the maximum she's actually like a bit higher she's probably up here which is okay um and, and so at this point, I'm gonna move it a little bit further away from the grow light. Okay. The forgotten strawberries. So long ago, I cut this, um, were they water props? They might've been water props that grew roots, put them in pond. Um, these were kind of like, I mean, you can see, they're like heavier on the green, but pretty balanced. So there are some casualties because I don't remember the last time. I water this. Um, there are new growth points though, like a couple there. I don't know if you can see these two over there. Those are new. So feel, feel, feel. Everyone feels okay, surprisingly. I'm so excited. Um, Happy New Year. This is going, I'm filming this on Christmas Eve. Um, but this is going out in the New Year. This is definitely a jam packed video. Um, I'm gonna start off with my Monstera Aurea. So the big one up here, y'all, there's a new leaf and it's like, it's pretty balanced, like variegation wise. And the secondary fenestrations are there also. And it's just so gorgeous. I know, I know, I know, I know. I talked about how I was so like, I've fallen out of love with that plant. <sighs> I don't know, it's grown on me actually, like literally. I'm so happy, it looks so good. Okay, not only the big one, but we're gonna look at the one that was one of my propagations, the most balanced one in LECA. I'm gonna repot it into one of the buckets. So bucket, net pot, this is a three gallon bucket. I feel like I'm gonna repot a couple that are in pond that have, okay, there's a half moon. I know I showed this in the last video, but it's, you can see it more. It's not quite hard enough, but you can see it more. It's so exciting. I'm kind of in a chatty mood. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm kind of in a chatty mood. I don't know if this is just a coping mechanism. <laughs> oh gosh, y'all. Okay, so I just have to remove all, well, some of these plants here to get to the Aurea back here. But oh my gosh, I moved to my, um, oh gosh, oh my God, <laughs> I almost, <gasps> why did I do this? Okay, my UPI over here, another plant that I wasn't in love with. This is the new leaf. So not hardened off yet. You can see she's Flop City. Ooh, no reservoir. I know I watered the moss pool a week ago. Yeah, the moss pool's still moist, thank God. Okay, and then my regal and my queen used to live on this table. I don't know if you can see, but I had to move them because of just fear fear that there hasn't been a lot of light and there has it but i'm gonna try my best to just move things okay oh okay so this is the model feeds Coraldo, super light and leca i'm kind of nervous i already know it's empty let's see yep <sighs> thirsty 
But look, oh my god, do you see how she like went over the moss pole and now she's just waving? I haven't looked at the leaves because she's at the very back of this. Oh my god, the leaves are so big and pretty. Sorry. Also, do you see all these Thai leaves? I don't know if y'all can see anything. They're slamming against the window because they have no room. And that's just the reality. Like, if I want all these plants, I can't have a massive, like, tie that, like, looks aesthetically nice. Like, oh, okay. Y'all, do you, do you see it? Is it too high? I can't tell. I'm gonna have to go into the living room. This is so funny. I only see a sil silhouette through the fenestrations. Okay. Let's move. Move, move, move right out of my life. Move it, move it out of my life. Name the movie. I haven't looked at the new leaf. The Oreos behind me, I only saw the back of her. Ooh. I can see part of her, let me see. <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> you're like so big. Okay, the new leaf is on that side. Are you kidding? What on earth? Oh, oh, do you see how, oh, do you see this? Okay, turning. Oh. I don't think y'all can see. Oh my gosh. Do you think it heard me? And it was like, oh, you're gonna love me again. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my God, I think, I think because of the secondary fenestrations, it's looking so good. But, okay, I'm gonna have to bring y'all close. Close. Ooh. Do you see this? Okay, so you can see the difference between the green and variegation. Look at these fennies. And you can see that it's marbled a little bit on this side. I do think that this side is gonna, is gonna be solid green, but like this half down here is like super variegated. Oh my God, wow, okay, okay. We're freaking out, we're freaking out. This is amazing. I'm also noticing the moss pole here because I had to attach another one, like it's bending a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see it. Anyhow, that is, that is stunning. Yeah, so because I was scared, because I know how like the roots are in the reservoir, I think I'll show you, I don't know. You see the roots? There's some bad ones, some good ones. It's kind of a mix. It's drying out so fast because there's so many in the reservoir that like in between, I just have to put like plain tap water in, in between my nutrient changes. And I think it's been like three, it might be four weeks at this point. Uh, I was thinking of doing my nutrient changes after I filmed this video, but I'm not sure. Oh my God, this plant is so chaotic. It's so green though, minus like a few of these leaves on this side, like that's Gorgina. And wow, I think that leaf, the new leaf, is gonna be like the most variegated. This is amazing, wow. And girl, it looks so healthy. So, so, so healthy. Oh my, I, I'm so shocked. You look so good, okay. Do I love you again? See, I knew it, I was like, I gotta keep it. I gotta keep this plant because you never know. And the issue now, I have to find a place um, in my room, you know, it'd be so cute if I could just keep this in my living room, but I just don't have room. And then the whole grow light issue. Hmm. Wow, and the stem is so big. Sorry, I'm just admiring because again, I mean, y'all saw up against my south facing window. And so I never look at this plant except for like, like once a month or once every two months. It, that new leaf, and I'm just like, I know I showed this leaf before, but like, wow, that one's gorgeous too. This one, oh my God, it looks so neon like. So I said this before, but like the variegation on this plant specifically is only staying to these leaves that come out on this side. So it's kind of like every other leaf because all the leaves on this side, they're just solid green. I mean, still gorgeous, look at that one. Um, yeah, they're all solid green for the most part, so. It's so pretty. I think the secondary fenestrations are now doing it. They're making me love this plant a lot more. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> wow, okay, wow, that's a good, you know. That was a fascinating discovery today. 
I think I might do a video about this because I think, was it a year ago that I took the top cutting? I think it was. And then I put it in this pot of, of Lekka. And so I guess I'll like talk about it, but like I'm so, this is so beautiful. Um, I'm gonna put more moss in the moss pole because let me show y'all roots just everywhere. Um, and I think that's another reason why I have to fill up the reservoir a lot. I think the moss is absorbing from, you know, the surface of the Lekka because the moss goes all the way down. So I think it's just sucking it all up into the moss pole. And these roots are robust, like Monster Deliciosa, those large type roots, they branch, they're large, um, they're good for latching onto things. And yeah, it's, I don't know, I can't even move this. See, the stem is like on the side of the plant. I just have to keep it. Oh my God, I need to take a picture of this, hold on. Oh no. Oh yeah, a New Year's resolution, y'all, is um, for me is to take more pictures. When I started my journey in like 2020, I told myself, and I, I love how I like forgot about this, but I was just like, Kevin, you need to take as many pictures because you will have your own diary journal uh, of plans. And then you can like look to see the changes. And that's one thing I kind of regret about this year. Sorry, my boyfriend's texting me. My boyfriend went to see family because it's Christmas Eve. Um, I was supposed to see my family tomorrow, but there's a sickness going around in my family. So I will be having Christmas by myself, um, which is fine. I'm actually okay with it. I'll see my family when they get better, um, whether that's the week of Christmas or like in the new year. Yeah, so I think while I have her here, I am gonna wet the moss. And is it time? Because again, three gallon bucket, if I lift it, all the roots are kind of like circling the bottom. Is it time to put it into a five gallon, which is a taller one? Or should I just keep it like this? Five gallon, I have to move it to the floor for sure. It's a three gallon. More nutrient solution I have to make. Right, I'll think about it. I'm using this contraption. I think I showed y'all in September, just a water ball with like plant tape. Um, I'm basically gonna use this as a slow trickle into the moss pole just because when the moss is super dry, you don't wanna just like pour quickly into it because it'll just like pass through and not be absorbed. So I just poked a few holes on the cap, some holes on the side, fill it with water. Then I put it in the moss pole like this and then let it drip and then refill as needed. So trying to be a resourceful queen with like recycling this. <laughs> and yeah, I'm probably gonna do that it's just over here. It's gonna be a mess. It's gonna spray everywhere, but. Oh, the thing broke. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna have to... <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I can just do other things while that's absorbing. Okay, still on the topic of Monster Aurea, I'm so excited to show you the one in Lekka. Like, whoa, I'm so excited. Okay, so here's the other one, the propagation. Ooh, it's so hard to see because the light. How do we feel? Oh, it's there. Wow, it's there. See, I think I'm giving it too much light because, ooh, reservoir is like, not even there. <laughs> that might be another reason. <laughs> see, Thurstania, okay. Do you see the variegation? It is so gorgeous. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the second plant in here. Again, this one's like right under the grow light. Um, it was okay when I transferred it because it just needed enough light to push out new roots and like the stress factor. Um, but now since there's new leaves, the grow light's right here and you could really see how it's bleached the new leaf. Oh, it's really bad actually. Okay, so I'm gonna move her into a new planter. Just showing you roots here like that. There's some new ones down here, which is fantastic. Oh, down there over here. Yes, oh, look at that. So I only put it into this planter because like I didn't know, cause remember this one's the one that had like massive root rot. I didn't know how it was gonna do. And I just kind of need a vessel that wasn't too big. So that's why I didn't put in the bucket. I also want to put in a clear planter because I want to assess the roots. They're growing, they're doing great. And then I also didn't know like if the leaves are gonna continue to have irrigation, which they have. So I think, um, I think I'm gonna put this one on a moss pole in this bucket um, so we could replicate mama over here. This is technically not the mama, but it's a top cutting with a mama. 
and now she's like my biggest one. Wow, there's stuff everywhere. This is chaotic. Um, actually, pause on the Oreos. I have to, I feel bad because like, this um, Phil Dinner Species model face Corrado is gorgeous. And like, it's a very uncommon plant. Like people don't have it. I want to show you like the new leaves. Do you see this? Very Brantiatum, very like, what's the, what's it called? So, Sotoroy? I don't know if that's how you say it. Uh, <laughs> but you can see that she was like shingling up a little bit and then I ignored her. And then clearly the moss pole was like here, but like it wasn't being attached and I wasn't keeping it wet. Um, yeah, you know, like, at least I saw it kind of shingle a little bit. I'm not kind of, I'm not in love with the idea anymore. I just kind of want to propagate it back. I know it's, it sucks because it looks so good right now. It really does, but I'm just going to propagate it. We'll see. Feel like there's some damage, like sun damage. Is that sun damage? I have no idea. Also, nectaries galore. Like, there's always sticky, sticky sugars. Sticky, sticky sugars. So I guess I'll do this now, and then I'll talk a little bit just here. Let me get a fan because my camera's been overheating. I've had to, like, stop and go because I've... It's the same camera, still having issues with, you know, it just turning off randomly. Um, but yeah, so... Okay, I guess because, like, I didn't really talk... I don't think I'm going to make a video about, like a new year's resolution, like for plants or like goals for this year. Should I? I don't know. I'll talk about it a little bit now, I guess. So, oh my God, it is so dehydrated. There's like wrinkling in the stem. Like that's how you know. Um, okay, I'm gonna propagate it like single node cuttings for this one and then um, I'm gonna start them out in the water because I find philodendrons, I still prefer doing that. I actually haven't thought about goals for this year. I think, I think it's good. Obviously the one that I did last year, like things changed. Like I didn't pollinate any anthuriums. Oh, I, I, I honestly, I'm like now realizing that a lot of the roots might, in the, might be in the moss pole and like, I have no time for that. I might just cut them. But the top of my list, I think for obvious reasons, um, I feel like I need to like prove something to myself, like growing Monster Billy Marks flames, like really to maturity because I haven't I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one um also another reason why I'm propagating this this plant and putting it in water is because it is so dry I wouldn't recommend at this stage if the stem is like really wrinkly to put it in a substrate I've seen success but I just feel like it's been unsu unsuccessful also a lot of times so I find that like if you put in water just because there's a new like wound at the bottom like it can still very slowly like pull up some water to hydrate the plant a little bit my laundry is done um, let me just quickly cut this down cutting it down so it's like this so the nodes there the aerial roots are there there's going to be a bud i think with this plant specifically it's under uh, the petiole here but yeah it's a it's it's a pretty plant i just <laughs> I just have to like do something else with it because I'm not happy with it. And like when I'm not happy with it, I tend to ignore it and I don't want to ignore it. So, oh see, this one has a stuck root. Yeah, I'm just, I have no time for Ugh, moss. Oh my gosh, moss is so frustrating to me. I hate it. <laughs> I know I was open to the idea, but then I was like, oh, it's so annoying. You have to like, you have to keep it wet at all times and like no I'm down on bended knees I can't explain who's sorry he's been driving me insane one more chance to prove my love to you um Kind of damaged, but still pretty with the silver. Um, I just want to show you because in a perfect world <laughs> where I have kept on track of keeping the moss pole moist, um, I would expect more roots to 
latch onto the moss pole, grow into the moss. Um, and if the roots or in the, in the moss pole was moist still, I would actually like take the moss off the roots and plant them in a substrate. Um, but because it's dry, um, the roots, when they dry, they, from my experience, they tend to rot when you rehydrate and these are like really dry. I don't think it's showcasing it well, but like I wouldn't feel comfortable again, feel everything. Like I wouldn't feel comfortable like putting this on the substrate. So putting in water, like it'll have a better chance just surviving in my opinion. And I broke something, oh well. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is so cute though. Look how cute at the bottom. Oh my God. I'm just ripping it out because I know the roots are like not good. I'm just cutting. Yes. Let's take this out first. Okay, so this is gonna be the moss pole I use. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, nothing rooted in here, I don't think. Cause this is like the top part. Did it? I have no idea. Yeah, see that's like kind of perfect. I'll remove a little bit more though. I also like, um, I don't know like what side am I going to well, we'll see. I'm gonna have to like look at the roots and stuff. I think I might just like, I'm f just because, okay, look at the, the Aurea. There's like a root here. I'm gonna have to like, cause I don't think I could submerge it in the net pot. So I'm gonna have to put this root into the moss pole and I can't if there's already moss present. Like I kind of want to like put it in like that. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if y'all can see anything, but I kind of want to put it in the hole. Okay, so before I got distracted, Sarah, Orly Mark's Flame, my biggest goal to grow to maturity. And um, I already have seen like so many people grow theirs like really big. Yeah, again, I'm like just so obsessed with a plant, like super, super obsessed. I don't know, here's, <laughs> this is kind of like an overreaction because like the plant was okay. There weren't any like roots in the moss, but just the fear of like, you know, when you hear like spider mites can like overwinter in like just, <laughs> dry places. I think I can just kill them with just pouring boiling water and letting it sit. Again, spider mites and a lot of other different type of types of mites, they do they will die. <sighs> Certain hot temperatures just in case. I don't have like I haven't had any pests um I I think for a year now, which I'm I'm very happy and lucky and I mean I'm using a prophylactic. Um, I, I use Californicus. I know for sure that I have a little bit of spider mites, um, but I'm using Cucumerus, which, you know, they do also uh, attack thrips at certain stages. So, I'm well, sorry I'm distracted. I haven't filmed in so long. Like, it's like, it's not like riding a bike. <laughs> I don't know where to position the camera. I mean, obviously the mic is new, like things are, everything's new right now. Uh, I'm just gonna boil water in this kettle and then pour it over. Well, that's doing a thing, grabbing my zip ties, grabbing my net pot, and then we're just gonna do this kind of situation like that. Yas? Mm -hmm. It's been driving me insane. Just need one more chance. Oh, that's good, actually. Okay, y'all. So, one zip tie at the bottom over here, one zip tie on the side. Um, it's pretty secure. I usually put two at the bottom, but I think the tension is enough. So I think we're just gonna leave it like that. I did a few rounds, so gonna let it sit for a little bit and then sitting with the three gallon putting it in here I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna take the cone away what did I do here oh I have to cut it let's cut it open so you can really see that root over there. I'm gonna try to submerge this part and obviously put this one, this root into a moss pole. Look at that, y'all. Look 
at all these new roots. So remember, root rot. So all these white ones, I guess in the past month and a half, maybe? Well, it seems to me that I can't submerge all of it. So I think I might just put cling wrap around this part where it's rooted above where, you know, the luck is going to be. Hug it to the moss. Just putting some plant tape just so the position of everything is in place. I might want to, I might want to put the one that was in Lekka. It still hasn't done anything, but I kind of feel like it's because I haven't given it new, have I? I don't even know. So am I going to put this one also just so there's two? I think so. It's like, okay. Oh my God, it's going to be so hard. Future Kevin Zuman, do you see the roots? I know they look brown, but like... If you feel them, they feel good. Hmm, I might change my mind, y'all. I just feel like there's like stripes going through it. Oh my God, why is it not focusing? <laughs> it's there. I might just propagate this one. Okay, I'm cutting this, making the, the decision. Yes, this is the mother leaf. Say goodbye. Wrap this part. I might just put some Lekka in here actually. Okay, so in here, put a bunch of clay wrap around here and then Lekka and then so, I'm just gonna put moss into the moss pole. Oh, the moss I had already. I ran cold water over it, so it's not scorching. <laughs> Still, let's put the moss in. This is exciting to have another Aurea that has like, I still think this Aurea has a pattern of like green, li green leaf, variegated leaf, green leaf, variegated leaf. But yeah, I think on this one specifically, the variegated leaf is more, marbled than that one over there which has just a little bit and so i'm just packing it in pack it in okay cute so don't have nutrient solution yet but i just you got to keep the roots uh moist so i'm just gonna wet because again the leka i don't soak my leka so it's bone dry so I'm just introducing that moisture to all parts of like the dry leka. okay so I just need to find a place for that Aurea because it's just a big bucket um, I'm still watering the moss pole if you can see back here um, but I have two of the Aureas two of the propagations that have pushed out such beautiful variegation and I just want to show you I'm going to repot them into this pot. I feel bad because like she's already like established. You can see the roots are here, but I just have to put a moss pole. So anyhow, do you see it more vividly now? I'm just gonna like go like this. Oh my God. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna put this one with this one and I actually haven't looked like in the leaf to see if it's variegated, but this is the one that had this leaf. It's pretty good. And then there's another one with fenestrations. I think there's two, but let's take a look. Do you see any on that side? I actually can't see. Let's see. Oh, it's balanced, y'all. Okay, I don't know about this part of the leaf though. Let me like open it a little bit. Ooh, it's hard to tell. Is this mostly yellow? Oh my God. It's so hard to tell. But you can see it, especially at the bottom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, why don't we repot these? I'm still gonna have to grab a new planter just because. <sighs> Y'all, I don't know. Should I do another one? Should I do? I don't know if I should stick with this or if I should do one of, the, one of these self-watering. I mean, they are the same size. It's just, I know Monstera roots and they're gonna grow into the reservoir. 
and then with the yellow irrigation or the roots i mean this is what i've experienced with roots in the reservoir for too long the yellow parts start to melt away like they get this crispiness obviously there's other factors wow this leaf is so pretty i think i'm gonna do this i think i've decided now that i've committed let's grab the moss pole okay thought i was recording but i wasn't i just zip tied it's kind of the same thing i did with the one in Lekka, but this one just three times and it is leaning back a little bit but pawn is heavy so i'm hoping it'll be okay i'm probably gonna have to also cut a few roots from this plant which i'm like not excited about I'm gonna fit this. It's an actual ball of roots. Oh my gosh, I don't think I can fit. Oh, I'm gonna have to just. Okay, how did we do it? I don't know. But I think I like that. Uh, just like that. Okay, now I don't know if I can fit the other one. Even though it's in a smaller container, I know it's root bound in here. Oh, it's not gonna work, guys. <sighs> okay. It's like the Berlin Rex play. I'm just gonna have an army. Are we okay with that? I think we are. So I think with the other one, I'm gonna put it in this planter. She is over here. Oh my god, this leaf is so pretty. I am gonna add more pawn. Can I just say, I've never ordered three liter bags. These bags are so cute. <laughs> Look how cute these little shoes of pawn bags are. to fill it up a little more i don't like when it's this dry um even if it was moist i do like running water over it so i'm just gonna shake a little bit kind of look to see there are air pockets which is just fine the plant will like it hey how do we feel what a cutie i'm really hoping like i was looking at the stem and i was like i think it's gonna be more balanced um because like i know this is a little premature but like i'm I'm really hoping that the variation just continues even with the next leaf. Um, I think it will. We will see though. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting because I've noticed that I've had to like keep an eye on like these kind of situations. If it's pawn, this really shallow saucer and keeping like enough of the reservoir like present. We'll just see. I'm gonna have to find a place and then and then we'll go from there. Okay, moving on to the next one. So this one's gonna be it's balanced on both sides, which is just outstanding. Um oh my god, I'm trying to like <laughs> submerge things. It's very difficult. It's making sure the aerial roots are against the moss pole jack just over there. So I'm gonna try to gently this Yes. I, I, I really want to cut this leaf because it's like so ugly. Maybe I'll cut the brown parts. Um, I'll just wait for it to, to die. Yeah, I'll just cut like this side. It just looks funny to me. It's just like, yes. But then look behind, y'all. I am so excited. Um, same thing. The pond was really dry. So I'm just going to open the stopper at the bottom. And we're just going to run water over it just to moisten it. And then, oh, I need to propagate that. This video took longer than I thought. I think I'm just not used to it. Look at this half moon. <laughs> Are you kidding? Is that a thrip? No, it's just a rip. Are you joking? Gosh, who are you? I guess I'll, I'll end this with just chopping. I know I could let it grow, but listen, <laughs> I know this plant, it's, it's, it's gonna be alternating. It's gonna be variegated leaf, it's gonna be green leaf, variegated leaf, green leaf. I kind of want one that's like consistent, consistently variegated and I just see so many streaks going through that node. Watch me be wrong. Okay. I'm gonna start off with something like I'm kind of like upset about. So remember I did an unboxing 
of like little cute anthurium. So when I was at work, y'all, <laughs> I got so busy. And like when I'm working at the hospital, I get home. I literally don't want to speak to anyone. I don't want to do anything. And so the anthuriums got forgotten. So like they dried out completely. And then because they dried out completely, the roots died. Um, I had a clip. <laughs> And this is this was during Vlogmas. Um, there was a clip of me like showing you the rot, you know, putting it in water. There was one that was okay. I think I deleted it by accident. I have no idea where it is, but they're still in water. I'm gonna put them in a pond now. Oh, oh, still in the bin. Oh my gosh, stop being dramatic. Okay. So, ooh, I'm gonna have to watch the video. Okay, so this was the one that was doing well. This was the biggest one. I know she's yellow. Um, I really like had to blast it with light cause girl, I needed it to root. Wow, this one feels a lot better than it did a month, or three weeks ago. This is the Dark Phoenix Fort Sherman and it feels so much better. I know appearance wise it looks kind of horrendous. This new leaf wasn't present like three weeks ago and I think in the video, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting. I think in the video it was like, the root system was actually okay, so I kept it in here. I think that's what it was. Um, so that's her, nothing to do with her. There's still a little bit of a reservoir. It's the two other ones, the X1 Crosswith and y'all. In the video, I was talking about how I like lost. <laughs> I know for a fact that this one is the X1 hybrid <laughs> with Fort Sherman, but <laughs> okay. It's not doing well. Oh my God, I didn't even know. I thought they were fine. Okay, so I was tricked because I was like, oh, that root's fine. Nope, it is Squishania. Oh <gasps> no. Okay, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> okay, now I'm wondering if the other one's okay. Cause there's the second one here. Oh my gosh. See, nothing good comes out of working at the hospital at all. See, this one's fine. Um, this one is the um, Dark Phoenix Cross with Goliath. So that's her. Clearly not doing the best. There's a new leaf, but it's probably not gonna look the greatest. Um, all the roots feel good. Like all of these roots feel fantastic. I am so happy, wow. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I am gonna repot this one only because I thought the other one, this one was okay, but no, nope, nope, nope. Okay. And while I repot it, I'm probably gonna take this leaf off, not because it's yellow, but because there's an aerial root there, I wanna submerge it. We're just gonna repot one. <laughs> Look at this murky water. Jeez, I didn't think it was bad. Okay, so now, removing all the roots. There is actually hope, so I'm removing this root over here because like these top parts of the roots are okay so just as long as I like take off the majority I'm just I'm literally just like taking them off with my hand like I'm just like bye and yeah okay it's it isn't terrible I think like maybe because I didn't change the water frequently enough what how do we feel oh i'm annoyed because that's one of the newer aerial roots i'm just gonna cut like far like really high up of this one and we're gonna hope like right here we're gonna hope i need to concentrate now and i'm gonna hope it does okay i'm trying not to cut the plant because you know me oh my god i almost did it after seeing it okay okay so we're left with this again in water just like do that yeah and then just fill the water level up here. Let's do that now. I'm a little upset. Like, I think I said in the previous video when I found this out, <laughs> I was upset because the roots were actually good. The plant was doing well. Oh well. Uh, so that's that's the X1 hybrid. Boom. We're just gonna keep the water level there. I, I really wanna cut that leaf. Maybe I'll do that. There's no point. Okay, cut the leaf off. Now she's down to these two. Um, This one, however, Root-wise is doing amazing. Yeah, so, oh my gosh, sorry. I'm filming this unboxing day. I'm like, 
The days right now, they're just like, they're blending all together. Oh, this wish. And yeah, guys, I do want to be better in the new year when it comes to like Anthurium seedlings. Cause I, I, I kind of want to get more this year. I'm not sure though. But if I can't keep them alive, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Have my pawn over here. Planter. Just gonna take this leaf off. Cute. Yeah, I don't know. I find, and tell me if I'm wrong, I think some people have said this before, but putting like a seedling or like a, a juvenile anthurium in pawn, like a lot of the time it doesn't like take off or do well. I mean, I know a lot of people use like, well, they keep them in moss for longer than I did. And then they put it in like a tree fern mix. I know everyone's obsessed with that. So maybe we'll try that this year, but. Um, okay, so can we see that like, the stem is like fully submerged. Uh, the pond is like super dry. That's just how it came to me in this bag. So I'm just gonna run water just through the pond. Okay, we're, at, we're like, okay, the indicator says past maximum. So we're, we're filling it pretty high. Oh my God, my babes. I know y'all saw this maybe a few weeks ago. I'm not sure. Magnificum luxuriance. Oh jeez. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> so she's hardened off now. She wasn't hardened off. She's now fully hardened off and she is just super stunning. Okay, about to look at the one before because we need to, I need to show you like how, oh, all three of these leaves. I know the oldest one is kind of going, but like not really. Look, isn't this incredible everyone? Wow. And I thought at the time, I was like, this one's massive. <laughs> isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. Okay, Gorgina, hello. Do you need to water it? But I'm just noticing this specific plant, I'm not saying this applies to all Magluxes, but just how big the root system is, it's in Lachusa Pond. Um, the indicator is usually down here after a week. It's just something I've observed. Like obviously I was trying to keep this like away from like my shelving because she was hitting the top of the shelf at one point. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna flush it because I don't need to, but I will water it. How exciting, everyone. <laughs> I, I don't know. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. I find because it is a taller planter, do you see how there's kind of like a ring of like dry pawn around like where the stem is? I'm thinking it's because there's like adventitious roots and you can see a little bit and they're like sucking up the water around that area. I just moved it. So there's a bunch that are kind of surrounding and therefore they're just uptaking the water quicker because they are newer roots. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm noticing I didn't do a December favorites video. No one watches it anyways. This would be on it. Like no doubt, no doubt, look at this. I'm gonna keep it here because I brought it out because she needs to be watered, but I did have to grab a plant behind it. Oh my God, I didn't know the forgetty eye. I know the forgetting I had new leaf. This, the new leaf. Okay. I'm so scattered. Okay. <laughs> forgetty eye. <laughs> In her beauty. <laughs> so four like mature leaves and then. Ooh, oh. Please, Kevin, don't. Okay. Do you see that? Oh, it's facing like right under the grow light because all these other leaves are facing away. Are you damaged? I didn't even notice. I mean, we won't know. Girl, don't go towards the grow light. The pond is super dry at the top. I love how I'm just like moving all these back. <laughs> Over here, forgetty eye, and then Zara Michelle. <laughs> okay, but. <laughs> wow. Okay, maybe because the light made it look. This is so pretty. Okay. The leaf shape is weird. I don't know what's happening here, but can I just show you? Like this is like a per the perfect stage. I don't know if y'all can see. You can see a lot more red than usual and like the edges, do you see this? Let's look at the back. The backs are still kind of red. 
Oh my gosh, hi. It's like, it's hard. Okay, do you know what? I have my forgetty eye. So y'all know that my forgetty eye is like pretty dark. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to showcase it with this. Do you see the difference? Wow, that is so cool. Wow, girl, okay. I'm so amazed by this. I, I love how I put it down. And I'm just like, no, I need to do it again. Do you see the difference? Like the Zara Michelle clearly has like more pink kind of tones. It's like so pretty now. I love how like the lobes are overlapping. Oh my God, I didn't notice that either. Cause like in the previous leaf, it wasn't. You see, and now they are. Oh my gosh, that's like my favorite. When I see like the top lobes overlapping, hello. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know what happened here though. Do you see how she's not symmetrical? <laughs> Okay, she looks better when I do that. Oh, Lordy Jesus, Jesus. Oh, what a wonderful child. This really showcases how little I've looked at my plants. Look, I don't know if it's showing, but the veins are so crystally. Okay, that is wonderful. Wow, you shocked me. I thought you were gonna be like so gross looking, but you look so good. Oh, well. oh my god. <laughs> I think long ago when I repotted it in this self-watering planter, I was like, okay, push the roots all the way down just so you have room. Y'all know me, I like to cover the aerial roots just so you can add more pond to cover the roots as they grow. I also believe, y'all, I, I really want this one to get mature because I do want to pollinate it with itself um, just to see what the off offspring will look like. I'm, I'm so amazed by you. I'm so amazed. Baby, I'm amazed by you. <sighs> Everything's a blur in December. Y'all know I was doing Vlogmas and then I stopped. Um, I had a few clips like ready to be edited. Anyhow, the point, I know for a fact I repotted these ones, but I don't remember. I don't know if I deleted it or not. I was curious because like this leaf is so dark and like a little bit iridescent. But I was curious, I was like, okay, like is this one gonna like harden off to that same color? And it's actually like not that dark. Here's the thing, I did transfer it because I was so scared into this into this um, planter, the roots are fine. I have her really close to grow light now. That might be the reason. It's kind of hard to show, but this leaf is so much darker than this one. Anyhow, maybe again, it's like a maturity thing. Like we will see, but like Gorgina, I also love how like thick the leaves are. I'm really excited. I'm really excited for this one. Okay, so this is that one. I don't think it needs to be, uh, feels good. Second one, I need to water it. Um, wasn't doing great. Again, I'm blasting this one with a grow light. So you now she's still doing okay. She's actually feeling better than before. Um, but again, because of the transfer, I've been blasting her with a grow light. I forgot. Okay, Crystalline Mag, Cross with Forget Yeah, Cross with Luxurians. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I'm just grabbing a bunch of these like smaller anthuriums because they have been MIA for quite a long time. And like, I'm, <sighs> I was like so upset with myself because, okay, these are the planters I was talking about. They're great for small plants, however, and like specifically Hoyas, like I use these planters for Hoyas, but like because the reservoirs are so small and like because I'm blasting them with light, they really take up a lot of water really fast. And because of that, the pond dry, dries up a lot. This is my, this is a Clarinervium. <laughs> She's so yellow, Ugh, but that's the new leaf. This is my baby Clarinervium. That I think I might have to repot her. We'll repot that one. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed to show this one. <laughs> okay, so this is, this is a, <laughs> This is a uh, papillolaminum hybrid. It's it's funny how it's already showing that leaf shape, new leaf, um, right under grow light. So I think that's why it's like super yellow. And then this leaf is going. But I was thinking, okay, there's two more I wanna grab. Oh, these baby anthuriums look so bad. They look so bad, okay. Um, this is my Ace of Space Cross of Magnificum. This is one... <laughs> It looks so bad. I've dried it out so much and I'm blasting it with like too much light. This is the one I got from North Shore Tropicals. 
Um, it's different from the one I got from Northern Plant Room. This one is the one I got from Northern Plant Room, one of the ones. I think I have three. The Tazula Dark Ace of Spades Cross of Magnificum. Um, this one's actually doing better. I think it's because I, re I repotted it. This one has a slightly bigger reservoir. Um, there is a new leaf right over there. We're gonna hope. At this point, this yellow leaf, I would cut it. Same with the Pappy Hybrid over here. <laughs> okay, Pappy Hybrid, I'm gonna repot. This one's fine. I think I'm gonna keep this one as is and the clear. Okay, so I gotta grab, is it gonna be these round ones? Maybe. I am so worried for you. How come you look so funny? Okay, roots are going off. Look at that. There's a lot of new branches. That is just incredible. Look at that. Um, okay, so roots are good. Now looking at this root system, I can now justify putting it in this bigger pot. I know like I've talked in the past about like not liking repotting frequently and not liking upsizing certain plants. Um, I would say specifically Hoyas, but Anthurium roots, they're so picky that if these fresh roots in the reservoir for too long, they will rot, you'll see in the foliage. With Anthuriums, I like to repot them more. Okay, Miss Clarinurium's gonna live probably in just a slightly bigger planter. Maybe I'll do a bigger one. Oh my gosh, she is hugging. Whoa, these roots are so big. Do you see this? Massive. I guess we're going with the big one. Okay, look at, oh my gosh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> So healthy compared to like the small little plant that is incredible i think i've seen this because i've never had a clarinervium i've seen that like the roots are so 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 big but i didn't think like now like while it was like this juvenile i'm trying to like spread the roots around just so i can push it down a little bit deeper hope this is deep enough how deep is your love is your love we belong to you and me okay i'm just cutting the oldest leaf because again i need to submerge maybe i'll put oh my god this ace of spades looks so sad ace of spades magnificum i should look at the roots actually i don't think i've looked at the roots like ever so why don't we look Okay, I mean, there's new roots over here. Oh, okay, and same thing. I'm just gonna cut off, like, this is one of the juvenile leaves. And then this one is pretty low. And like, you can see, like, taking this off, it reveals an aerial root right there. On camera, she looks better than in person. <laughs> but wow, uh, again, submerging, like, all the roots. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know I was recording. Oh my gosh, I was singing so much. <laughs> uh, okay. So here's another Magalux. Is it? It's not. <laughs> it's an Ace of Spades to Zulu Dark Form. I showed one earlier uh, that I got from Northern Plant Room. So. Okay, so some grow light damage, but like overall, looking good. See the grow lights on this side, you can kind of see the yellowing there. It feels good. I want to repot it because it's the same thing. Like lots of roots. I mean, damn, damn, look at these roots. Ooh. Okay, y'all, don't laugh. I'm going to show you my anterior mutinum. The one that had an inflow and like I forgot about this plant the new leaf was like bent like this under the shell <laughs> she still looks okay it doesn't look like she's damaged but I just didn't realize Ooh, oh my gosh at least she's watered because she's heavy but look at this cool inflow isn't this so cool oh so I don't know if it's got through its stages I don't see any pollen so I think I don't know it's been closed for the longest time Anyhow, this is what it is. Isn't this so cool? <gasps> wow. I don't know, I think it's cool. Anyhow, the new leaf that was slamming. Ooh, wow. So red. Anyhow, I just want to update 
you guys on that. Maybe I'll tie these together so I can keep an eye on both of them. Let's do that. There's one more Ethereum thing I need to do. Pendulifolium, y'all remember, in Lekka. Um, it's, it's one of the plants I ignore the most. Like it's in the top five. Maybe I'll do a video about that. But anyhow, it is a whole situation, unfortunately. Um, so why don't I just like move these back? Okay. Oh, you know, I'm a little worried that I won't be able to save this. I'm a little worried. <laughs> okay, so three leaves, Drupania, lots of wrinkles. Oh, it's so bad. I might have to put this in water. So Anthurium pendulifolium, once, you know, a beauty. It was honestly after the spider mites, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna have to like wear gloves because who knows what's gonna be in there. It's gonna be like lots of Rodania. I'm like honestly so disappointed with myself and I'm just ripping, I'm just ripping. Do you see the roots? And they look okay. They look okay. Do you see this? I was expecting worse. I haven't looked here in so long. Do you see how the roots are going up? and they just like have no space, dry. <sighs> See, and here's the issue. I can't, I have to break these roots. They're kind of our new aerial roots. There's like three over here. I should have repotted this like a year and a half ago. Do you, do you love, do you love how I'm just like hacking at it? Why did I ever think this was a big enough pot for this plant? Cause the leaves weren't small and I might have to say goodbye to this plant depending. And whatever I see in the LECA, like I'm gonna have to just, I'm just gonna have to see if like we're in a situation where I can put it into pond or I have to like start it off in water. Oh, do you see this? Oh my God, everything's flying. It looks like a nest. It looks like a nest. Girl. God, I feel like something's gonna fly up at me. Can we cooperate? Yeah, do you see this? See, this is when you need to repot. And these are dry. Look, where's the Lekka? I don't know. It's there, but where's the Lekka? This also looks like a nest. Okay, I'm just gonna take the Lekka off. Oh my God, this also didn't make it. Ramen noodle realness. Um, why don't we just cut the leaves off? Ooh, sorry, ooh, sorry. I love how like this leaf is from when she had spider mites and I kept her. Oh my God, look at this, bye. I don't have room, so I'm gonna have to cut this leaf in half. Sorry. Oh my God, sorry, I hate this. Okay, now I could face this under a grow light while it's in water. Now what vessel do I wanna do? Oh, I know. Oh, I'm just gonna fill up. This is the bottom cash pull of one of those self-watering pots that you, you guys are probably familiar with. Okay, let me show you first. So do you see how like, I'm like this. I'm probably gonna cut this. Why don't I just like clean it up a little bit? But like that is not it. That is not the tea, sis. Yeah, like ones that look like, like they came from a tumbleweed, like no ma'am. Really counting on the top aerial roots. It is so dehydrated, wow. These three, do you see those? Right there. One, I don't know if you like it. Here's three aerial roots. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put it in like this. Face this under grow light and change the water as needed, check on it as needed. Okay, do you see the water? <laughs> uh, so I just put that leaf under grow light and I guess that's it. I will see y'all in the next one.